Hey guys, welcome to Jane's Brain Reviews, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sony WH-CH700N headphones. Let's get right to the video. So first, you can buy these at around $200 on Best Buy. I will leave my links in the video description below. If you're interested, you may go check that out if you would like. But I got these headphones for $100 on Black Friday. Now let's unbox it. So as you can see right now, this comes with a crazy 35 hour battery life. It's noise cancellation and it's wireless Bluetooth. Now Sony's always been good for making headphones. So I'm really looking forward to see how these things perform. Up here you got pictures of the headphones and pretty standard things on the back that we will talk about later in the video. So let's get right to the unboxing. So peeling it off, this is compatible with iPad, iPod, iPhone, and Android. Peeling this off right here, we lift this lid. After we put these two flaps back, we can pull this out. Peel this off right here. Then, pull it out. Now there's nothing else in the box, so we can set that to a side. Right here, you get Sony Connect. These show you what the features of the headphones can actually do. Now let's take a look. So peeling this open, here we have the headphones in a good cushioned case. Now these are a lot smaller than I imagined they were, but I can definitely tell that the ear cups are going to be very comfortable to wear. Now if we peel this or take this off right here, the charging cable. I was really disappointed to see, realize that it does not come with a carrying pouch. So I might invest some of my money and buy a carrying pouch for these headphones. And especially if you're traveling a lot, a carrying case would be great if you're putting these in your backpack or whatever it might be. So right here, we get a standard aux cable. We get the instructions. This shows you how to pair your headphones and a simple guide to what your headphones can do, how to charge them, and etc. So that is the unboxing process of the actual headphones themselves. Let's go take a look at them. So now we're going to actually talk about the headphones, the comfortability, and just overall, you know, how I like the headphones itself. First of all, something I want to say about the headphones is that Having like 32 to 36 hours of battery life is great. I've only had to charge these like one or two times and I've used them for like almost a month, which is really, really cool because I listen to a lot, a lot of music. And if you're someone that listens to a lot of music, you're going to want a lot of battery life. Just think if you're like on a long plane trip and you don't want to go charge your headphones or plug in aux, you want to keep it Bluetooth. So that's also a really nice feature about these headphones. They're nice. Um, the battery is very, very long. Now starting off, the comfortability of the ear cups is really nice. I've noticed ear fatigue about after listening for over an hour and 30 minutes. That just might be me, but uh, my ears start to hurt after a while. But overall comfortability is great. And I listen to music for long periods of time. So if you guys don't do that, then there won't be a problem. There's not really that big of a problem. The ear fatigue isn't that bad, but it's still something to keep in mind. Now one thing I wish uh, is that the band right up here, I wish it had more cushion. It doesn't feel like there's much cushion to your head. It feels kind of like a thin layer. The adjustability between this is very, very nice, smooth, doesn't seem cheap or anything like that. On the bottom, these controls are really nice. I definitely like this button because it's just so easy. You just go right here and go boom instead of like pulling out your phone and things like that. And it's not like a very like cheap made button. It feels top quality type of product, if you know what I mean. So I like that also. Now let's talk about the most important thing, sound quality. Now using these for a while and testing them for pretty much over a month. Now first let's talk about the things I don't like and then we'll talk about the things I do like. First of all, the bass isn't as heavy as I expected. I feel like it could have been a little more punchy if you know what I mean, like had a bigger pound, you know, when you were listening to uh, bass heavy songs. But the bass is not like crappy or anything, like it's a good bass, like if you don't like bass, you're definitely going to like these. but. You can also customize that in the app. So I jacked mine all the way up because I liked bass. Now let's talk about why I like it. First of all, the lyrics are very, very good. Probably the clearest on any headphones I've ever listened to. It sounds really, really clear. You know, it's the sound is balanced very well. 
it's not like anything is overpowering another thing. Everything seems pretty equal, and that's also something that I like. Next, let's talk about the noise cancellation. Now, I definitely think that the noise cancellation is pretty good. Listening to no music and just having the noise cancellation on and having my brother scream just to test it, hear them, but it definitely blocks out like half of the sound hear them and when you have the music that was with music off but when you have music on you can't even hear them at all so when you have music on and you turn it up to about medium volume you really can't hear anyone so sound quality is great now would i recommend these headphones yes i would recommend these headphones if you're on a lower budget and i got these on a good price they go on sale so i'll leave my links to best buy where i got these in the video description below and um, thank you so much for watching. I totally like recommend these headphones, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. See ya.